With just more than a month until school opens up their doors, the Hot Springs School District is putting the finishing touches on their plans for the fall. Our Claire Kreitz spoke with administrators today and shows us how they're working to make their campuses as safe as possible. Yeah, Bob, the Hot Springs School District created a, a group called the Trojans Ready for Learning Committee. It's made up of staff and parents all discussing ways to keep students safe and healthy. Right now, the plans are still in the works, but the district is close to putting out a final copy. We are working tirelessly. While the halls are empty and the classrooms are dark, administrators like Hot Springs Superintendent Stephanie Nahus are working to get everything ready for the lights to come back on. We are much more prepared to provide a rigorous, on grade level curriculum to all students, no matter what learning opportunity they choose. Hot Springs School District has laid out a rough draft of what learning will look like come August. It starts with three learning options. Traditional, which is completely in the classroom. Virtual, meaning kids learn online. And blended, combining the two. About 60% have chosen traditional um, to send them back. We probably have um, another 25% that have chosen the blended option. And then maybe about 15% that have chosen the virtual option. For those choosing the classroom route, that will start with screening students and staff, even taking their temperature before they ever walk through the doors. It's going to be a little difficult at first, but we're all going to get used to it and we're all going to eventually settle into a routine where health screenings and safety precautions are just another part of the school day. Hot Springs School District Communications Coordinator Adrian Barnes says students will switch classrooms and the district plans to keep recess, lunch, and extracurriculars. We will have to keep a list and limit who the kids are with in those extracurricular activities, but they're not going to not happen at all. Administrators know the transition will be challenging, but will all become part of a new normal. Different may be uh, very complicated at first, but with patience and collaboration in place, it's doable, and it's doable for our kids too. The district will also provide three cloth masks to each student. Right now, those masks are not required, but strongly encouraged, except on buses, they will be required. Administrators say all of this is subject to change as things continue to progress. Back to you.